I sat around thinking, what am I going to do to make a difference for the country? What can I do? September 11th happened on a Tuesday morning. Until Sunday, I laid in my pajamas in the family room couch, just staring at the TV thinking, what can I do? I found my purpose. I realized I'm going to start an organization, I'm going to travel, and I'm going to educate millions of people about the importance of preserving our national security and why it's important for us as citizens to feel safe no matter where we are. And I launched ACT, and I started educating and traveling between 2002 and 2006. And I would speak to groups as small as eight people meeting at Frankie's Ribs at 7 a.m. in the morning. And the average age was 80. <laughs> and every other word, I would hear, huh? <laughs> and that's why I speak loud. <laughs> And I would speak to groups as small as eight people meeting in Pungo, Virginia at Frankie's Ribs in the morning at 7 a.m. to groups as big as 10,000 meeting in some of these mega churches across the country. And one question kept popping up no matter where I spoke. What can I do? Now that I'm educated, what can I do? Give me something to do. And I learned very quickly that while education is important, Education by itself is not sufficient. Mm. Education must be coupled with the action. That's right. That's right. And that's when I launched our activism arm, Act for America, our lobbying arm. So now we have an educational arm, a 501c3. We have a lobbying arm, a 501c4. And I'm proud to tell you that Act for America today has over 1 million members nationwide we have helped pass 102 bills on the federal level and the state level. We have 80,000 activists nationwide, and we are literally changing the nation. We have chapters. Because we are all about activism, not just information. And here is the thing, our side is not lacking information. Our side listen to talk radio, they go to seminars, they attend meetings with speakers. You ask them about the question, they can sit and answer you for 15 minutes. An answer that they heard on Fox News or on Hannity or on Rush Limbaugh or Dennis Prager or whatever. We are educated. Our people know how to show up to meeting, they listen to a speaker, they're great. You ask any 22-year-old nitwit, Tell me about socialism, they can't even answer you. They don't know what socialism is. But boy, are they active. They know how to organize, they meet at Starbucks, they show up on block roads, they show up on loving members of Congress. Our problem is not lack of education, our problem is lack of activism. Their problem, they don't have a problem. We have a problem because we do not know how to face them and how to fight them on the other side because they are active without education. And that's a dangerous part. Because they want us to be like Venezuela, yet none of them understand what Venezuelans are going through right now or how Venezuela used to be. Because all these young nitwits only knew what America and being an American citizen is about. Mm -hmm. And that is being handed every freedom you have. And you don't even have to fight for it. Yep. So what we're doing with Act for America is we're changing the landscape. So instead of having people show up, because here's what, the, what our side does. Our side, they all show up to hear a speaker, and everybody gets so excited, they work on bringing the speaker to the community, and after the event, everybody shows up. You have 400 people show up, or 200 people, or no matter what, how many people show up, and at the end of the meeting, everybody pats themselves in the back. Oh, wasn't that a great presentation? Boy, I learned so much tonight. And everybody goes home, everybody feels good, and they start thinking about what speaker we're gonna bring next month or next year for the next award gala. The left, on the other hand, they don't have meeting and invite speakers. When was the last time you heard a group, a leftist group, had this big speaker in the community and, and they meet once a week, uh, once a month with a speaker? No speakers involved. What they do is they get together at Starbucks, they start plotting, okay, who do we have on city council we need to get rid of? 
Who do we need to character assassinate so we can destroy them in the community and we can run somebody against them? Who do we, who do we want to get elected into the board or to the school board? Who do we want to get elected on the city council level? Who do we want to run for the state delegate? They are strategizing. Our people are sitting around listening to speakers. That is done. Act for America is changing that. We have chapters nationwide, but those of you who want to be just activists, I expect you to sign up tonight and become an activist. Does this message resonate with you so far, what I'm talking about? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. I love you! This is exactly what we are here to talk about tonight. Not only to burden you, but to mobilize you. Act for America is on the front lines, working on the highest level of government, from the White House to Congress, all the way down. We are passing bills at the state level, and tonight we want to mobilize your community. This is our investment in your community. And coming, talking to the chapter. Now, I have a few chapter leaders here tonight to organize this event that we're done. Our chapter leaders, please stand up and be recognized. Where are you? Harry, down in the back, raise your hand. Our chapter leaders, any other chapter leaders who stand up? Thank you, thank you. If you want to join a group, talk to them at the end. But we are here tonight to talk how you can be mobilized to join Act for America as an activist, not just hearing about the problem. We made it very simple because we understand that people don't have a lot of time. You're not going to show up on the streets. You're not going to block bridges. You're not going to cause a ruckus in your member of Congress or, or whatever shouting in their face. So we made it very easy for you to organize. On your seat today, when you came in, we want you to sign up by becoming an activist. When you go back home tonight, we want you to go to actforamerica.org and sign up as an activist. It doesn't cost you anything. As a matter of fact, when you get home tonight, there will be an email in your email box asking you to sign up as an activist. This is how organized we are. Make sure you open up that email. Make sure you sign up as an activist. Why? Because if you do nothing, we send you one email on a Wednesday, three things you can do under 10 minutes, and you can do them sitting in your pajamas, sipping your cup of coffee in the morning with the click of a button. You don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to show up with a meeting. We make it very simple. So we want you to at least sign up as an activist. We also want you to sign up to get our emails. Be on our email list. So when there is a bill coming down for a vote, we can reach you to have to make you call your elected official and express your views. A lot of people tell me, Brigitte, I wish I knew about that bill. How many of you heard of a bill being passed and you went, I cannot believe my elected official voted for it? No. The idiot. No. How much would you have liked to call that elected official and express your view? And I'm going to share a tip with you about talking to elected officials. A lot of people tell me, Brigitte, what is my voice going to count? I'm only one. My congressman needs to hear from 50,000 people before they do anything. I'm a nobody. Wrong. I talk to elected officials all the time. And I ask them, how many people do you need to hear from about a certain issue to make it your top priority? You know how many people? 40 to 50 people. That's it. 40 to 50 people. The problem is our site doesn't make the phone calls. They do not write the letters. The left do. Here is the science behind the numbers. They believe if one person sends an email or makes a phone call or writes a letter, he or she are representing 1,000 couch potatoes who feel the same way but are too lazy to make a phone call or write a letter, but they vote on election day. That translates to 40 to 50,000 voters on election day. That can make or break an election. Know your power as a constituent. And that's the type of activism and teaching that we teach you at Act for America. There are more than 40 people in this room. Can you imagine if you all take action on one single issue when we send you an email, or when there is a bill coming down for a vote, every single one of you makes that phone call or writes that email. You can change the direction of the country by just taking action. Not just showing up to a meeting and hearing Brigitte Gabriel but going home and signing up as an activist and taking action when it comes to activism and telling all your friends to sign up on our email.
Croc TV.